Okay. Urban Bigfoot. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. All right, I'm walking the tracks here. I'm starting to find piles of sticks that I just. I'm guessing it's just homeless people making piles. You know, bringing out dead wood. I noticed it the other day. <laughs> I didn't think anything of it. And I'm walking today and I said, you know, I gotta I gotta record this just for the hell of it. There's another pile right there. That's a pile. That's a pile that somebody dragged out. Sticks right there. There's another pile right here. That right there is a pile of sticks that somebody made right here. There's a few more piles down through here. We'll see if it isn't. Bigfoot versus homeless people. I think big homeless people are a big cause of Bigfoot sightings, I'm sure. There's another pile right there. Why are they... It's right near these little... There'll be some hermit. Another pile right there. That's all stuff piled up, all brought to gathered up. I, I never see any fires out here. I mean, I'm not out here at night, but it could be, but I never found any. There's a couple of things that look like a little fire pits in here off to the left, but I don't see anything burned in there. I don't see anything that's, you know, been on fire. That's pretty funny. Um, I just picked it up the other day that there was some these different piles all along here. There's another pile right there. I mean, it's definitely piled up. It's not just nature stuff falling and somebody's dragging it out of places. There's one. But I don't see anybody using it. You know, they make these piles and then that's it. There's a pile right there. I'm sure it's for a fire. What else would you use it for? A Bigfoot nest. Maybe... No. Um, I haven't found any real crazy stick structures around here. There's a little pile of stuff right there, but... There's a couple good sized piles up here. I guess would be homeless people, but why don't they take it somewhere? It's still here. It's been here for quite a while. I mean, uh, I don't think it's a cleanup crew or debris on the tracks. Um, there's one. There's another one there. I don't know how many that makes. Six? Seven? Pretty funny. It's all swamp in there. It's like, I don't think any any homeless people are in there. Another pile right there. I can't imagine. This is the area though that was all blocked off right here the other day. It's pretty odd. And it's hanging from the trees now. I don't see anybody in there, but this this branch here is, is brought down across it. This branch is stuck in there, is broken. That branch is bent over there in the way. It's definitely blocking that trail. Probably just humans. This is not far from town. You can see towns right there. And Dunkin' Donuts is, is right over here through the woods. So it's an area where people could go and hide, and nobody's going to bother you out here. There's nothing but water on this side. The only way to get here is down the tracks. So what is it? What are we seeing? What are those piles of sticks for? Lots of rubbish here though. 
There's no lack of rubbish in Wareham. So you know there's a lot of people down through here. It's funny, I don't, I've only seen like one person walking the tracks and I walk down here every day for the last, I don't know, two or three months. <laughs> I've only seen one person out here. You know, imagine it all, maybe it all happens at night. That's where you go to Dunkin' Donuts right there and stop and get coffee. I don't have time to stop. I gotta get my steps in. 10,000 or more a day. More is better. That's it. What are those? What are those? Piles of sticks for. My guess would be a fire. Let's think about doing a, a homeless encampment video thing with just like investigating homeless areas. I'm sure it'll be dangerous. But sometimes, you know, most people are not going to bother you. They're not really that crazy, these people. But it's interesting, their life. It's kind of cool. They're trying to get away from it and live on their own. So, I might do that. Might just start a little channel with the homeless. The homeless homes. Homes of the homeless, I'll call it. Alright, enough said for today.